What's up guys, today we're going to do every single Rose attack in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It's my favorite game. I've said that a billion times. And there's some mid and really bad ones in here along with some really good ones. But all around these are some really easy ones, especially for the first game. You know, most of the Rose attacks are really easy to pull off. Besides a few in the Mario and Luigi series, but those do like way more damage than some of the others in the series. Super Swing Bros is something like an item. It feels more of an item. It does uh, not so much damage, and then you can get a semi-good item. I think you could get um, some like crazy item if you're really lucky. But this thing costs less less than Swing Bros, I'm pretty sure, for something that makes sense, because this thing is trash, and I would never use this, I've never used this once in my life besides to try it out, and I've never used it again, so I'll keep on. Spin Bros is a good attack, it's easy to pull off, and it's the first Bros attack in the game for Mario. And it's a really simple attack that does really good, well not good damage, it does simple damage for what it is. Jump and spin bros can go anyway, I just think that bounce bros is better because it's Luigi and I love Luigi. But that's kind of biased so you can flip them over if you want to rank them. But I think they don't deserve to be above anything else. Thunder Bros isn't really a good attack, but isn't really a bad attack. This is where they just start getting mid. Now, it is kind of bad because there's only really good use for battles against enemies that you find out in the wild. Because those actually have more than some of the other ones, and I guess... Um, the Rock Boss, which I still can't think of the name of. Advanced Bounce Bros isn't much better than normal Bounce Bros, besides the fact that you can hit two enemies, or just one, but if you're gonna hit one, it's gonna do less damage than normal Bounce Bros, so I wouldn't use it on one unless if one bow has way more power than the other one, then, well, not really if it matters, because you really need Mario to do the more damage the Bounce Bros fans to be better off, so it's not really a good attack if you're attacking one. Oops, or just two is good. Advanced Spin Bros is really only good for one purpose, and that's if um, you are fighting Queen Bean and you don't have a ground off and you just want to completely cheese that boss fight. And then again, it just doesn't serve a purpose because by that point you already have hammer bows and the other hammer attacks and there's just no point of using it. Fire bows isn't really that good of an attack, mainly because it doesn't do that much damage and there's way better attacks. Even spin bows is better than this and there's not really much to say because it's not a good attack until the remake where they make it such a better attack and make it so much easier to pull off and do way more damage. Same thing basically but hard at a time and it doesn't do much more damage besides until the remake where it's faster, does more damage, and you can't really miss it because it's way easier to pull off and it's just easier to pull off, does more damage, I'm just repeating the same things I'm saying over and over again. But it's a really good attack, and has a shockwave effect. I think in both games it does, I don't remember it though. Advanced Thunder Bros has a chance in the remake to do less damage, or actually make it have less defense, which in turn makes you do much more defense, or more damage. But, it's, I think it's guaranteed, I don't really know, because it feels guaranteed, because I never use this, because Cyclone Bows and Knockback Bows is a thing, 
and those are just way better than Thunder Bros Advance and besides I guess the defense down there's no real reason to use this in the GBA version. Advanced Chopper Bows isn't really anything too special, but this and of course the next one, I think, can go any other way. It's just that the difference is, I guess one's knockback bows and one's drill bows, or I forgot his name already. But it's a good attack, it can go up for infinitely for in the GBA game. It has a set timer, and it's kind of harder to time in the GB no yeah in both of them it's hard to time and that's why I'll just go with normal chopper bows this can be fucked around like I said but in total it's a good one but then again there is knockback bows and it does direct damage but this one I guess also attacks multiple targets unlike advanced chopper bows which I guess because of that you could put that over there put that above, which actually is why I have this above, not just because it's Luigi this time, that's actually why I have it above, because I actually find myself using it on things that have multiple targets, and it's a good attack for the mid game. Cyclone Bros is a pretty good attack, and it's not really that good, but it is a late game attack, and actually, it is pretty good. It just doesn't do that much damage because it doesn't spin for that long. Now in the remake, it does spin for a long time and does a whole lot of damage. And I think in total, the remakes are better, but I think that's just because the remakes have more damage to them. Short, simple, sweet damage. Does a lot of damage for just like three actions. And it's great, and, and you can't really beat this out, especially for late and mid game. It's great in both of those standards, and that's why it goes number four. But its other one is its Mario counterpart is way better. Advanced Cyclone Bros is just Cyclone Bros, but it does extra damage, and it's basically way better just because of that extra damage, and it's easier to time. So in that case, it's just like Cyclone Bros. Um, but if you spam it, you do... I don't think you actually need to get an excellent, unlike in GBA, but in GBA, you don't... It's You don't really have to spam the button as much. Simple and short, and can do a lot of damage as long as you know how to spam the button. And that's basically what Chocolate Rose is. And it does good damage, especially for late and early and mid game, early game. It just depends on what your opinion is on the parts of the games. You can't go wrong with Swing Bros. Swing Bros is just such a great, easy to time attack. It does a lot of damage. You don't really need to do many things for it to do damage. You can kind of like just let it sit there and throw it at the right time, or you can just do it right away and you'll do a lot of damage. Either way, it's a really good attack nonetheless. So you made the video, why not subscribe, subscribe to you guys and subscribe later, and what is your favorite part for bros attacks actually? What's your favorite bros attack in this game? Anyways, this has been Roger Bean, signing off.